Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how easy it is to create a data chart animation visual effects using Soras in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. So after you create your composition and apply Stardust to your layer, let's jump to Emir and start uh, creating our uh, background for this data chart. Changing the type to grid and on grid properties, let's put 200 for X and Y and one to the Z axis. And for the speed, let's zero out the speed and size X and Y 10,000. So it's going to cover the whole comp. So now we have a dot grid here. So on particles, uh, we are going to change the size to one pixel. And so give it more life, 20 seconds. So they stay there and on birth chance, maybe puts there around maybe 50. So we don't have a full dot grid. So for now, our grid it look nice. Let's uh, rename those nodes to organize things. Let's call the particle that emir a grid and the particle node rename it to dots and so we are going to duplicate these dots and so let's reconnect that the second one to the same emir and rename it to rectangle and change shape to rectangle and give a size to maybe 60 so we have something uh, looking like this and on size random let's give some randomizing the size and opacity randomize it as well and maybe just 15 something going to look like this and for shift seats so they are not like offsetting the position of those uh, rectangles and birth chance to 10. So there are just few there. And so duplicate one more time this rectangle and connect it to grid. And let's rename this to texture and change the shape to texture there. And so I already have here a comp called numbers. It's a uh, random numbers here, just a text with a expression to source text, link it to the source text. So we can have a randomized val values here for using in Stardust. So back to Stardust and on texture, we are going to choose from the layer numbers. And so when you apply it, we're going to have the same number everywhere. So we're going to change the time samples to random stale frame. So we have a randomized values here. Also, we are going to change texture properties to look different than other particles. So changing the opacity to maybe 50 and the size, we can leave it as it is. Maybe randomize the size and the opacity too and change the shift seats as well. So our background is going to look like this for now and that's all how what we need so to organize this we are going to add a group node and select all of those nodes and on group node uh, click right and hit add you can do the same here 
and notes. So if we double click on lift double click, we're going to open the group or right double click to close it. So here our background and let's name this group background and let's uh, collapse those and so let's turn off the grid we don't need the background and so now we are going to add a mirror and particle to start building our uh, data that they are going to be animated so on a mirror we are going to change the type to grid and do the same things almost zero out the speed and size only on X because we want a line here. So 10,000 and on grid X 500 and Y and C giving them one. They are actually there just because we need to give the particles a life. So we are going to give it 20 too. So we have this line and on particle properties, we're going to change the size to two. And so we are having this nice uh, line. So actually we are going to add a turbulence node to our stardust. So let's turn off the, the helpers. So and change the turbulence type to one sided, one side, and give the uh, position offset maybe 20 and turbulence randomize. And as you see, it's happened on X axis, we are going to change that on Y. So they are going up and down. So we are going to those, they are actually not animated. So what we're going to do is give some fractal speed and fractal evolution. And maybe change the noise level to two and noise scale maybe around 50 and live even as it is. We can change that later if we want to. So the first line is going to look like this. So now we are going to duplicate this particle and turbulence, control D and connect, connect that to the same emir here. And now just changing uh, the properties of particle to and turbulence. So this time let's give it three on size and maybe change the shift seats. And also we're going to give some random opacity and on turbulence we are going to change from uh, leave it as it is now and just change the position to 50. So they are more randomized and okay, duplicate it again and connect it. And this time, let's give the size four, randomize the opacity and shift seats as well. And on turbulence, this time, uh, one side going to change it to sphere, turbulence effects to sphere and leave one side there. So I'm not sure if you see what's going to happen. Let's turn on the helpers for the turbulence, the third one, and change the sphere size. So we have more. OK, 
Okay, so maybe 300. And so now we can give more position offset and you will see only what inside this sphere is affected. So maybe 600 to make it bigger. So that's how it's look like and give it some different amplitude and also scale. Maybe 20, maybe the noise level to three and maybe more frequency. So we are going to have this kind of animation and so we are going to duplicate this again connect that to the emitter here and this time let's put the size to two back again leave everything as it is just the shift seats change it the turbulence we are going to change that from one side to axis and maybe the more so there's some uh, particles on both Y side and maybe change the sphere size for this one and maybe change the position. Scale. Amplitude. So just keep change to what you actually want. Let's preview this and see how it looks like. So as you see, this is doesn't look really bad. So it's look nice. And so we are going to add this time, uh, duplicate the last one, last particle, connect it. And we are going to add replica node and connect it to the particle. And let's replicate it maybe around 60 and uh, offset Y, see what happened. So we have so many on the offset, maybe just minus 10. So we have like long lines here. And as you see how things looks like, but we want those lines to be animated. So what we're going to do is on animate properties, we can have the replica over life uh, changing the graph here and you will see it start animating without any keyframe. And but we have the same as we see here, it, the same level of the replica. So what we're going to do is going to random properties and on replicates number, let's change that and see what happened when you change the numbers. So they are not on same, they are different now. This is look cool, so maybe uh, 40. And let's preview this. So as you see here, our replica is animating and everything looks nice. So as you see, the power of Stardust, we didn't really use any keyframes on this, but everything was proceduralized animated for us. So let's actually add all those notes to the group. So let's add a group and do the same add to the group and let's rename our group data. So now we have our background and data. So double click right and so we have data and our group. So let's turn them to, to create back. So 
everything looks nice. Let's preview it again. And so this is the final preview and actually we can make it more complicated if we want just by adding more uh, duplicating the particle and turbulence and add more complicated variation to the chart so hope it was very useful this tutorial for you and please if you like this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe for more Stardust videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.